Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I wanted to take some time and talk about Linux Mint 19 comparatives. Um, and so this relates to a question that had been asked a couple of different times in the comments. Uh, you know, how does Linux Mint 19 Mate versus XFCE compare? Uh, of course, those are the two lighter weight distributions. Uh, some people will want to know what are my thoughts on Linux Mint uh, Mate as it is. And so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do a little comparative. Now we're gonna run all of these as uh, live keys in the virtual box um, for simplicity. Um, and the reason we're gonna do that, of course, is the time it would take to actually install everything, do all the comparatives and all that kind of stuff. That would take a little bit extra time. I know from my experience on Linux Mint that it doesn't, it's not going to be, you know, performing significantly different whether we are in a live key or whether we are actually installed on the disk. Um, I'm also though going to add in uh, all three of the desktops. So we're going to do Linux Mint 19, um, the Terra edition, but we're going to look at Cinnamon, we're going to look at XFCE, and we're going to look at Mate. Now of these, I run cinnamon although i'm still on 18.3 on my two computers uh, i do run linux mint cinnamon on my production computers um, i run linux mint mate on my uh, backup computer which is the computer that i have all of my backups done on uh, i do not run linux mint xfce specifically i do run peppermint which is kind of like an xfce slash um LMQT or whatever. Uh, LL, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Peppermint is these days. Uh, that's the one that I, I do as well. So I am very familiar with all three of these desktops. And ultimately, the goal is here is uh, assuming that it would work better, you know, which one of these is going to work better for you, assuming you want to be in Linux Mint. Is it better to go Cinnamon? Is it better to go Mate? Or is it better to go XFCE? So, of course, a lot of this is your own personal preferences. But let's just go ahead and dive on into this. And I think what we're going to do is let's go ahead and start having a quick look at the website. So you go to Linux Mint, um, the linuxmint.com website. You can go to Linux Mint 19. Of course, we do have the Linux Mint Debian edition, which I will be installing on my media computer in a few weeks. All right, so Linux Mint 19, uh, click on that. This is the information. We have documentation, release notes. We have three different options we have cinnamon mate xfce of course we have the 64-bit and the 32-bit for older computers if your computer runs 64-bit uh, you definitely want to be running that one we are going to be running all of these um, over there so of course once you click on one of these um, download it and then don't forget to verify your iso so you click on this button here and click on the 19 and click in this text file. There's other ways you can do, go here, but you can see this is the Linux Mint Cinnamon. Um, we have the Linux uh, Mint Mate, Linux Mint XFCE. I'm not sure what the V2 is. Not sure what the V2 is there. I'll, I'll have to look into that. Um, just make sure you verify your uh, make sure you verify your distro. All right, so now we are on our XFCE. This one did give me the menu configured correctly. I'm not sure why Mate did not. Maybe I need to reboot Mate and have a quick look. All right, so inside of your menu here, you can see that this menu here is probably a lot more uh, useful for most people. The XFCE menu has the ability to scale it to size. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and look at our... Um, Let's go ahead and look at our system resources. Do we have system resources installed here? Oh, it's it's in there. I see it. I keep seeing it showing up. Uh, there it is. Task manager is what it's called over here. All right. Okay, so we are running, oh man, this thing sucks. So we're using 6% of our memory, 2% of our CPU. I'm looking for a total, all right. Let's go ahead and install HTOP.
All right, so now running HTOP, we are at 471 megabytes. So this is running at about 200 megabytes less than Matei was running. Uh, so if that is, um, if that was something that is interesting you. Um, also the, um, like I said, the menu, it is possible to do a lot of really nice modern stylistic things with XFCE, but it is a lot harder because you end up having to, um, you end up having to manually configure some CSS files. Uh, out of the box though, they do give us a lot of good theming in this. Um, and again, the applications are going to be pretty much the same uh, outside of the fact that we are running uh, XFCE. So things like the file manager are going to be different. Anything else uh, that is not directly related to the desktop environment is all going to be the same. Um, of course, in XFCE, we have uh, our entire configuration over here. Uh, and we have the we have the separate uh, control center as well. So this is what our control center looks like. Again, like Matei, a lot of things. Uh, you can see that Matei does have more settings. They have the Compiz um, Manager, um, and uh, with this setup here, you can set it up much the same way. And that's kind of this the standard thing. All three of these desktops that Linux Mint has are all fairly standard. They have a lot of the same settings in here. Really, your differences are. Uh, how your theming is done. You see this one here is not quite as robust as far as uh, how theming is done. And so if we go with our, uh, there's Linux Mint. I think Linux Mint Y was the default. Here's the darker version. Here's a Y darker. Um, and so you can see that, that the way that, uh, the way that these are, um, are configured is not quite as clean and as robust as uh, Cinnamon or your um, Mate run are theming. However, if you do know CSS, you can go into these files and you can make a lot of style sheet adjustments and do whatever you need. Um, they do have much the same icon packs, you know, the various mint uh, icon packs for the various colors, fonts, settings, much the same. Going back to all settings, most of the other things are going to be the same. We will have a different panel setting because of how you can set up your panels, which you can actually have a hover over effect on your panels as well. Uh, so here's your appearance. Um, there's enter and leave. So if you do something like this, when you hover over the panel, you can get a, um, you can get a, um, like a hover over effect, or maybe you want something like this. Okay. So there is, you can make it solid, you can make it transparent. Uh, so there is a lot that you can do to this. Uh, there is system settings, you can do solid colors or background images. So if you wanna have some type of skeuomorphic or whatever else on your panel, you can do that. Um, on your, uh, this is your individual panel. Of course, you select which panel you are on here. You can add additional panels. So if you wanna have another panel on the top, you can do that. That's also um, uh, consistent with the other ones. I I think you can add extra panels on Cinnamon. I'm not 100% sure. I know on both Mate and XFCE, you can add extra panels. So, so far, XFCE, uh, the menu, uh, you might like this menu quite a bit better. I think there's a, I know there's a better one on Mate. I couldn't spot it right away, um, but there is another menu on Mate which is closer to this. Um, I think it's like the Mate Advanced menu, I think is what it is. Um, and uh, you know your settings are going to be much the same. So this is your XFCE. Let's go ahead and shut this guy down, and then we will go ahead and uh, boot up Cinnamon. Okay, so here we are on Cinnamon. Uh, this is my favorite desktop. Um, mostly, I like the modernness of it. Um, you will have a few different settings in this one that you will not find in the other ones. The most uh, standout setting is if you happen to do anything with online accounts. You can log into Google, uh, Nextcloud, or OwnCloud, Facebook, Microsoft, just a variety of different things. You can actually drop in your, um, you can drop in your IMAP and SMTP settings uh, for email, and those will uh, integrate into any of the email platforms that work, which I think Evolution will. I'm not 100% sure about Thunderbird, but that might as well. Um, so our setup on this, much the same. Of course, our file manager is different. Uh, as far as the rest of our settings, 
Our theming is quite a bit cleaner on this one, but a little bit limiting in what you can do. Uh, this also, like, um, like XSCE, you can actually adjust the style sheets uh, for your theming if you want to. But we have a lot of different theming, which uh, does cover a lot of different uh, a lot of different ways of doing things. So you can see here um, what this one looks like. Of course, that doesn't change your icon packs, but uh, we can change those other places. Here's your mint dark. Here's your mint non-dark. Uh, here's your cinnamon. And I actually prefer the Linux Mint theme, which is more skeuomorphic, has some transparency to it. Kind of the way I like it. We can change our icons over here. Of course, adding icon packs, um, you can add those into your, your folders uh, if you download them. But you also have the option here to download additional ones. So if you come over to Add Remove, uh, yes, update the cache. It's going to go online. It's going to look at all of the themes available in the repository. So you can actually download a variety of different themes, which will make a whole lot of adjustments. So let's grab that one. And uh, here we go. Here's a Windows 10 theme. Let's go ahead and have a look at that one as well. And when those are in there, you can just come into here and grab the theme and it should make some changes. Now, some of your theme packs are also going to add uh, icons as well. So you might just look around. So I'm looking to see if the Windows theme happened to add Windows-like icons to it or not. It does not appear as that it did. The sand is pretty close. All right, here's your cursors, here's these. So there's a Windows 10 button theme. It didn't give us window borders, it didn't give us icons, so some of the themes that you download are a little bit, um, uh, are a little bit goofy in that respect. This one's a little too bright, but uh, we'll have a look at it anyway. All right, um, and as far as your system resources, here's your system monitor. Cinnamon is running at 900 megabytes. So, of course, you can see that Cinnamon is the certainly the highest. That's what we would anticipate being a GNOME-based uh, a GNOME-based desktop environment. Um, so you'd want to use Cinnamon if you're, like I said, interfacing a lot with online accounts, if you are doing... Uh, doing things where you might need some of the more modern elements of of the GNOME desktop, but particularly if you don't like the GNOME desktop like myself, it gives you a nice Windows-like feel with all of the modernity to it. Um, so, of course, I know if you integrate your NextCloud account into the version that um, uh, this version of Cinnamon, it will integrate your email, it will integrate your files, and it will integrate your calendar and contacts. Um, and so that's actually a, a newer thing in Linux Mint 19 with cinnamon. If you don't need all those types of features, you just want something super light, then uh, XFCE and Mate. Uh, so the person that did leave me the comment earlier, Riz, uh, was it Riz Hale, I think asks about it and he suggests that maybe XFCE might have, uh, might be lower than XFCE. Uh, in my experience, XFCE is the lowest running about 200 megabytes less RAM than was Mate. Um, but overall, if you're looking to Linux Mint, uh, the first thing to, re to remember is that you're going to have essentially the same packages. Um, uh, the only thing that's going to differ is anything related to the desktop itself. So that means that um, your file managers are going to change, your settings options are going to change, like how you make your settings and configurations. The way you make your theming is going to change. Most of the rest of it is going to be uh, going to be very similar. Um, if you are uh, if you are looking for something that's just super light, you're probably going to want to go with the XFCE. And uh, if you're looking for um, uh, if you're looking for uh, just in between or you want the extra flexibility, then you might go ahead and uh, and look at Mate. I'm going to boot up Mate one more time and see if uh, see if it actually loads properly this time. 
All right, let's go ahead and re-record the Matei portion uh, because it actually booted right this time. I don't know why, but the first time I booted this up, it did not give me my menus. It did not give me anything. So uh, we're going to go ahead and have a look at Matei again. Um, so you will probably have already seen, uh, um, I'll do, I guess I'll do XFCE, then Cinnamon, then Matei. <laughs> just, I'll just cut out the old one. Um, so here under your system monitor, since what people asked about is what is the RAM usage like, uh, this is running 600 megabytes. Uh, the XFCE was running about 400 megabytes and Cinnamon was running about 900 megabytes. So Mate sits right in the middle. And uh, what you can see with your menu here, we do have a menu. It allows us to search for applications. We have all of our places, our system settings over here, including our control center. Now, as I've said throughout this video, really the only things that differ, it's not the packages that differ. Uh, it's the most of the, the packages it comes with are going to be the same. It comes with a specific suite of Linux tools and utilities, uh, Linux Mint tools and utilities. It'll come with LibreOffice, Firefox, Thunderbird, uh, GIMP, a few other applications that are fairly standard. And then the only things that are going to change are those that are related to your desktop environment. So this usually means uh, the control center, how things are themed, and uh, and things like that. So the things about Mate, if you like screensavers, Mate has screensavers. Um, you can do uh, different uh, customizations of the desktop. The way that you run theming, um, you can actually grab any theme that you like, and then you can directly customize it here in a GUI uh, with a variety of different things. Uh, so you can essentially create your own theme, and if you're good enough, you can hunt down for the actual theme files and make adjustments to the style sheets. Um, the One of the reasons people like running Mate is it gives you a modern type feel with just how the setup is, uh, but it is lightweight, 300 megabytes less than Cinnamon is. Um, but it also gives you a lot of flexibility. For example, we have, um, we have uh, a variety of different Windows managers that you can use. So you can see this Compiz settings. Um, and this, was, this is really, if you want to do a lot of, a lot of really interesting effects, um, animation effects, you want to do uh, wobbly windows, just a variety of different things, then, um, then you have the ability to uh, to adjust your Compiz manager here, and this is basically going to give you a a lot of different uh, a lot of different settings. And so uh, with that, um, some of these could mess things up. Some of these could deeply impact it. But some people like those settings, those functionalities. Um, it's really a matter of preference. So um, again, who would you who would want to use these three different desktops? Um, as I've already covered before, if you have super lightweight, you probably want to be on XFCE because it is running the least base uh, base memory in the system. If you need a lot of the modern functions and features, you want to go Cinnamon. If you need somewhere in between, you like a lot of customizations, but you don't need things like online accounts and you want to save a little bit of RAM usage, then Matei's probably for you. Either way, Linux Mint, you're probably not going to go wrong. So I hope that I covered all of the issues that people had been asking about in Linux Mint, comparing the three desktop environments, Cinnamon, XFCE, and Mate. If I missed anything, uh, let us know in the comments down below. And you can help support this channel at switchlinux.com forward slash support. Check me out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. That's T-O-M-M. -M. And don't forget to take a look at the shop, shop.switch2linux.com. You can pick up some coffee cups, some mouse pads, some t-shirts, things like that. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.